Okay, we're gonna talk about the rack pull today. Um, it's basically an elevated version of the deadlift. So <clears throat> as we elevate the bar up off the ground, it becomes easier on the lower back usually. Um, use it a lot of times rehabbing from injuries, people who can't get into the correct position for structural issues in the hip, things like that, they don't. Um, <clears throat> they have problems with it, they don't feel comfortable yet, they keep getting injured. A lot of times we'll just elevate the bar at some point and it'll allow us to get the benefits of the exercise and we'll stay a little bit safer. So the higher the bar is, the safer and easier it is on the lower back, I should say. You can elevate it. You can see the trap bar here. We have the trap bar elevated. You can use the upper handles on a trap bar. You can even elevate the trap bar as well on some, on some bumper plates, plyo boxes, anything like that will work fine. In this case, we have the bar in the rack itself and that, that point is called a rack pull. We're gonna approach it the same as we do a deadlift. So we're gonna walk up, put the knots of our shoes, shoelaces underneath, directly underneath the bar. We are going to bend down and grab the bar. We're not going to bend our knees. We're going to hip hinge like we talked about in the video. We're simply going to shove our butt straight back to grab the bar. Okay, so walk up, put the knots of my shoelaces under the bar. I'm going to push my butt back, touch my shins to the bar, pull up from the shoulders. Okay, when you come up with a hip hinge and you start to pull the bar up your legs, as soon as you feel it start, you're gonna drive your hips forward. You're gonna drive your hips forward by squeezing your butt. That will lock the lift out when you get to the top. Don't slam your hips forward. Tighten your butt really tight. When you do that, you will lock the lift out. You can sit in a chair even and squeeze your butt and you'll feel your hips want to lock forward. Even sitting in a chair, you'll feel them come forward as you squeeze your butt. So this is what we're gonna do here. Knots under the bar, hip hinge, shove your butt back towards the back, Grab the bar, touch right here, pull up as one last check. Keep your shins on the bar and shove your butt back a little more to make sure. Pull up, squeeze the butt at the top. In order to descend, simply shove your butt straight back and the bar is going to ride down your legs. Pull up again, set. Just like that. Remember, when you come up, pull it up your legs. As soon as you start, squeeze your butt. Drive your hips forward. Squeeze the butt to lock out. Keep your shoulders pulled up always. When you descend, simply shove your butt to the back and let the bar ride down your legs into the rack. Always reset at the end, okay? A set of five is five separate pulls from the, from the floor, from the rack. Hope that helps. We'll talk some more next time.